what is going on everybody back and now I'm going to show you how to install a shader pack into Minecraft 1.16.1 so in our previous video if you haven't seen it already uh, you should go back and watch it I explained how to install Optifine and that's what this is right here so now we want to go and download a shader pack and then install it into Minecraft because what Optifine does is allow us to load that shader pack Okay, so some of you might be wondering what a shader pack is. So let me show you real quick. What a shader pack does is it's basically going to change the lighting in, in the game. So you can see how you can see some of the god rays coming down from the trees, and you can see the actual shadows on the ground. Um, just like the light rays and just the lighting in general. You can see like the reflections off the water and stuff. It's almost like RTX without RTX, you know what I mean? That's what a lot of these shaders, you know, before RTX was a thing, this is what people used. And uh, you don't need RTX for this, you can you can do this without it, so. You can see at night, you can see some more god rays and stuff. It's, it's just, yeah, that's basically what shaders do. So what I'm showing off right now is Silder's, uh, Silder's shaders. I was going to do Sonic Ethers, but for some reason, his website is down right now, so I can't can't show it to you I can't download it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go do this one because this is another one that I use quite a bit so I'm gonna download uh, I'm gonna download one of these I guess we'll just do uh, hi and if you guys don't know this is basically an ad fly page ad focus page whatever it is you got to uh, don't click anything here okay nothing because it's gonna try to trick you into downloading something that you don't want what you need to do is click this skip button in the top right hand corner make sure you click that skip button that's it and then it's gonna bring you to uh, a media fair page apparently you're gonna download it from here you get more pop-ups that we don't want so don't make sure you only download that it should pop up down here as a zip file and we can take that zip file and we can drag it onto our desktop okay now that we actually have our shaders uh, zip file, it's almost like a texture pack or a resource pack, people call them now. So what you're going to have to do is, uh, there is a way in game, if you have the game open, you can go into your uh, shader packs and then open the shader packs folder, similar to how you would do with a resource pack. But I'm going to show you how to directly put it there right now. So you need to open up a uh, file explorer and go to your uh, percent uh, app data percent, which is going to be your roaming... Uh, you know, go to the roaming directory in there. So, make sure you type this in. Uh, percent app data percent. You guys should be familiar with this. Uh, dot Minecraft. And there's going to be uh, a folder in here. You guys might have more or less fo folders and files depending on what you've installed in the Minecraft. But look for the one called Shader Packs. It won't be here unless you've already run Minecraft with Optifine. After you've run Minecraft with Optifine, it'll create this folder, and now you want to take and drag your zip file uh, for the shader pack into the shader packs folder. And that's it. You just installed it into the game. And now when you load the game up, you can go into Optifine, and in the shader packs section, you can click on Soldier's Vibrant Shaders and enable it. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so now that we are in the game, we got Optifine all loaded up. Uh, right now, I'm actually on my Anarchy server um, at one of my dupe stashes. So, uh, if you guys want to join, it's mc.boysdev.com 1.16.1. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I, th I think this is going to be a decent room to show this off because there's a bunch of different types of lighting in here. So, right now, you can see what this looks like. But now we're going to go and we're going to. I'm going to show you how to enable the shader. So, you're going to want to go into your options and then. Uh, it's going to be in video settings, okay? And you're going to want to go down to shaders right here. And then we can turn off or turn on this shader. And you're going to get your loading screen like you do with a texture pack. And there you go. And then you can you can change a bunch of settings and stuff um, over here if you want. Basically to better your performance and, you know, turn things up and down. And uh, this right here is... Uh, 
the shaders mod options. If you want to go to the actual shaders options, that's here. And these are the Silders shading options. But we're going to leave everything default right now. I just want to show you guys uh, the difference and what it looks like. So here we go. Super dark in here, and we got this uh, vibrant lighting lighting the whole place up. So we can tweak those settings a little bit, you know, maybe to make this look a little bit brighter. So if we go back into video settings, shaders, and let's go to our shaders options. And I think it'd be, I don't know, you're going to have to really just play around with all these things. And yeah, minimum light, might be able to turn that up. Let's see what kind of colors we can get out of it. Let's see? can really change things here there is pretty sure like reset buttons I think you can just click reset right down here reset everything yeah but you can tweak it you can play with the settings I'm not really sure what all the settings do but you really just have to go in and play and tweak it for yourself and that's you can do that with all the shaders and that's how you uh, turn them on so but yeah that was how to install uh, shaders into your Minecraft for 1.16.1. If you guys have any questions regarding what you just saw, leave them down in the comment section below. If you liked what you saw, make sure you leave a like and uh, be sure to subscribe for future tutorials from me because I'll keep making them. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials you want me to make in the future, you can drop that down in the comment section below as well. Uh, other than that, uh, that's been uh, that's been it for this video. So I'll see you guys in the next one.